The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nyesum Wike, has urged organizations and owners of landed properties in the FCT to pay their ground rents. The minister made the appeal after an inspection visit to several construction sites around the nation's capital. Wike said funds realized from ground rents will aid his administration in infrastructural development. Here's the details. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Baris Tanyes Somwiki, began the day's inspection at the Vice President's new residence and ended at B6 and B12 Road along CBN headquarters. Speaking to newsmen after the inspection, the Minister restated the importance of ground rent payments towards economic growth in the FCT. He said defaulters will be penalized and liable to revocation. I will uh, always tell everybody that they should try as much as they can uh, to pay their ground rent. Uh, we have uh, published the last set, those who are still in the one of 2023. We gave them till the uh, 14th of December last year, after which we are going to report what. Barrister Wiki expressed satisfaction with the ongoing projects at the several construction sites. According to the minister, his administration will not allow variation in contracts while construction is ongoing. He said this will allow contractors meet up with the deadline. We believe that by then uh, this project will be, will be ready. Uh, of course, you know, they didn't work for three days because of the construction uh, workers, workers uh, strike. Three days workers strike. That you know uh, took a lot of things out from them, but we believe that we will not have any kids of uh, that incident uh, again. Barrister Wike inspected construction sites at the Vice President's new residence, a Sokoro Roundabout, a Po Roundabout, Wuye to Zone 7 Bridge, and B6 and B12 Road, linking Constitution Avenue to Abuja City Gate. The contractors assured the minister that these projects will be completed and ready by May 2024. From the nation's capital, Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.